I was I was reading an argument online this morning that that says that chimpanzees are comparable to three year old humans in the capacity for self awareness, problem solving, their emotional lives, and that some ask how can we assign rights to or the basic rights to children but not to these chimpanzees and how would you weigh in on that uh you know i, th I think that's that's essentially correct that um it's it's not really justified to say humans have rights you know we talk about human rights a lot um uh but humans have rights but no non-human animal has these rights uh, i think we should extend uh, basic rights to non-human animals and a good place to start if we're doing this would be chimpanzees or chimpanzees and bonobos and great apes and maybe orangutans because because these are the animals not only that we are most closely related to in in genetic terms but also the animals who are most like us in terms of their capacities to to think uh their strong emotional bonds with other members of their group uh they're clearly you know living with certain long-term uh expectations of things that are happening and the memories of the past um you know you only have to read the wonderful studies by jane goodall and um, many others since uh, and not only about chimpanzees but about other great apes uh, and you can see that that their lives do resemble ours more closely than many people have thought so um i think to try to narrow the gulf between humans and non-human animals uh that's something we ought to do and maybe starting with the great apes is a good way to do that, um, to show that you know, there's, there's really close connections. Um, when, when, we when we talk about humans on the one hand and then animals on the other, we're sort of implying that there's this big gulf between humans and all animals. But in fact, we're much more closely related to a chimpanzee than a chimpanzee is to a dog uh, you know, in, in genetic terms. So, um, it's not like there's all humans here and all non-human animals there. It's like there's, there's a whole continuum of relationships and to some extent a continuum of cognitive abilities, but more important still is the capacity to suffer and to feel pain and to enjoy their lives, um, which uh, a, a very large number of animals have.